Voltaire once said, no problem can withstand the assault of sustained thinking. And he's absolutely right. Ladies and gentlemen, I've done it. I finally found a way to send a file from your Android device to your Mac natively without any third-party apps, no more privacy and security risks, done all natively and wirelessly, just like AirDrop. Now, I've been having this problem for many years, and you have to understand, I tried so many solutions, but nothing worked. No more using third-party apps that pose security and privacy risks, and no more waiting for Google and Apple to do something about it, including Google's promising nearby share solution. Ladies and gentlemen, let me show you how to send a file from your Android to your Mac natively. It's a little bit technical, but it can be done, and once you get the hang of it, you can do it anywhere you want. So if you're interested in finding out how to do this, stay tuned. Now, to give credit to the guy that pointed me towards the right direction, one guy left me a comment saying, you could create a network share on your Mac using the SMB protocol. This is integrated natively into Mac OS, and you could access it from any device within the same network. On desktop devices, you can add it directly inside the file manager, but on mobile devices, at least on Android, you need to use a third-party app. I would even prefer this way over AirDrop if I lived in the Apple universe, as you can directly access the wanted directory on the computer from other devices. Now, little did this guy know that there's actually a native solution to this, and thanks to this guy, he pointed me towards the right direction, and I called Apple and I told him about this solution, and they were completely blown away. They had never even thought about this. You can send a file from your Android device to your macOS device using the SMB protocol. But what is SMB? First of all, let's define what SMB means. SMB stands for Server Message Block. SMB is a Microsoft network file sharing protocol that allows applications on a computer to read and write files and to request services from server programs in a computer network. The SMB protocol can be used on top of its TCP IP protocol or other network protocols. Now, I don't want to get too technical or geeky about this. You just have to understand that SMB is a protocol that was developed by Microsoft, and you can use this to send the files from your Android to your Mac. So let's do this together. The first thing you have to do is to open your native file manager app. Every phone, every Android phone has a native file manager app. On Samsung, it's actually called Files, My Files. Each Android manufacturer calls it a different thing. For example, for Xiaomi devices, it says the name is remote. So if you want to add a remote device under the File Manager app. For Huawei devices, it's called My Network Neighborhood. Depending on the manufacturer of the device that you have, mine is a Samsung, you would most probably have this option. If you don't have this option, unfortunately, it's not going to work. But most of the Android manufacturers have this option built in natively to their phones. It's completely baked in. You don't have to download a third-party app that poses security and privacy risks. So let me, do, let me show you how to do this. The first thing that you're going to do is to open your file manager app. Like I said, mine is called My Files, so I'm going to open that. And then you can see here, it's called Network Storage. So let me go ahead and open that. Now you're going to see the network storage devices on your phone. And if you can't see it for 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 Samsung, you can add a network storage device, whether it's an FTP server, SFTP server, or network drive SMB, and that's the one I want. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna add a network drive SMB. Now it's gonna look for the drives on the current network. If you know how to add it manually, that's great. You just click or just tap add manually. And now you're gonna have to add the address, your IP address. And how to get your IP address from your Mac, it's pretty easy. You just go to system settings. Go to Wi-Fi, and then go to the known network. Click on Network Settings, and then you're gonna, you can see the IP address mentioned here, 192 dot something. You copy this network address. Let me enter the network address here. Let's just say 192 dot. Okay, this is the address. I'm not going to tell you my IP address. No one's going to hack my computer dot this dot okay one huh uh huh port now for the port try port 445 and if it doesn't work see if you have any other devices connected to your network and check what port they have but mostly 445 should work fine then you're going to have to add the username and password now in order to do this you're going to first have to set up file sharing on your mac and in order to do this you just go to system settings and then type file sharing to access it quickly, which is right here. 
Okay. Now, file sharing, and then go to this I sign, which is for settings. It says here, other users can access shared folders on this computer. So you can add a shared folder here. I added a shared folder called file sharing. And by the way, I created this folder from my desktop. So you can add any shared folder that you want. Create a folder, for example, in your desktop like I did and call it file sharing. Then you can set the user privileges. Here it says mine, Adam Lash, staff, everyone. So just make sure that you are enabled here. Go to options. Make sure you turn on share files and folders using SMB. And this will enable you to share the files. Make sure that your account is selected. Now you're going to have to know your own username and password for your Mac account. And once you do all of this, it should work just fine. Click on done. File sharing is turned on. Now I'm going to have to add the rest of the information. I'm just going to have to add the username on my phone and my password. And then finally, press add. That's it. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Can you believe it finally worked? Now you can access the file that you want. So for example, for me, the file is right here on our desktop. I called it shared folder. So under the shared folder desktop, you could call the folder whatever you want, but I prefer to call it shared folder. And that's it, man. It's just going to work. Then you could send files and oh yeah. The next trick would be how to send a file from your Android device. And that trick I also found a solution for. And listen to this. So let's say I want to send a file from my, ma from my device. Let's say I want to send this picture to my Mac. The trick would be first of all to split screen. Pay attention to this. The way you can split screen is by using two thumbs on the, on the Galaxy devices like this and then opening my, my files app again. And now I've already opened the shared folder. So all I'm going to do is go back here and drag this thing here. And that's going to copy it. And that's it. That is the trick. In order to send the files from your Android device to your Mac, the next trick would be to open split screen. You should have a split screen functionality on your Android. So open the split screen functionality and then transfer the file by dragging the file from one screen to another, dragging the file from whatever you want to copy it from. For example, from your gallery, let's say. Let's say I have a large video and then dragging it to your Mac. And I could tell you this, they are super fast, just as fast as AirDrop. Now you know there's a solution to sending files between your Android and your Mac. Now the next step, and all of this, by the way, I still consider to be child's play, even though I've been working on this for years. The next step, the nearly impossible step, would be to send files natively between an Android device and, a Mac OS, and an iOS device or an iPadOS device like this iPadOS or iOS, they're almost the same. This would be, I'm not going to say impossible, because remember, no problem can withstand the assault of sustained thinking. And once I do find a solution to this, I will post it in the future. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you really like this video, subscribe to the channel and have a great one.